How are you doing today? Uh, this is my friend Tatiana. Do you remember Tatiana? Yeah, she was she was here for our rocks. Remember our rocks? Yes. Um, Tatiana is making her guest appearance for the second time. Hi. Today we are going to do an experiment. It's all about flowers, cause. With the rain that we've been having, the flowers will start coming out. So what I need you to do is have your mom get a piece of paper and draw an outline of a flower like this. See our outline of a flower? That's all we're gonna do is gonna draw an outline of a flower. Then we're gonna use our markers from our beautiful marker cans that we made with Ben last week. We're gonna take some markers and we're gonna color our flower. You can color it any color you would like. Um, the next thing, go ahead, start coloring your flower. The next thing that you're going to need is a pan with water in it. We chose to do our small pan of water and um, we turned it green. Why did we turn it green, Tatiana? Because it represents the stem of a flower. Great! So we're going to show you what to do after you color your flower. So as Tatiana is doing and I'm going to do Take some markers and go ahead and color the inside of your flower. Whatever color you would like. What color are you using, Tatiana? I'm going to be using brown, black, and yellow to make a sunflower. Alright, I'm going to start out with red. So here we go. Go ahead and color your flower, friends. Starting with a small dot right in the middle. Then I'm going to use purple. This is my purple marker. And I'm going to color in my flower petal with the color purple. Then I'm going to use the color green and color in another petal green. greenish blue or teal color. How's it going? Good. My sunflower is coming along. And what colors did you use again? I used brown in the center and then I put black dots in the middle of that and the petals are yellow. Very nice. It's like a sunflower. Then I'm going to use pinkish purple. Then I'm going to snag from hers blue. And for my last color, I think I'll choose red.
then I'm gonna put my markers back in my can. And here's my flower. What does your flower look like? Awesome, see our flowers? Very cool. But now we have to cut them out, so we're gonna need a pair of scissors. Which your mom or your dad or one of your siblings can help you to cut around the outside of the flower. So we're using our fine motor skills with our fingers on our scissors and going around our flower petals. marker dry for your um, petals for this experiment so if it's not dry go ahead and set it aside for a few minutes and um, let it dry we already colored some other flowers that are already dry so here's another flower that has brown green blue pink red and dark blue on it and Tatiana made a flower that has blue and orange and green on her flower. That was my dog. You saw her walk by. She is now hitting my leg. It's okay though. All right. So how's your flower going? Doing good? Yep. All, All right. done. All right. So you're gonna set those aside. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your flower petal and you're going to try to close the flower petal by pushing the petals in. You don't have to do it too hard. You just kind of fold them in on themselves until the petals are all tucked inside like this. See, like that. Then we're gonna add our flower to our stem water and we're gonna watch and see what happens to the flower. Go ahead. <gasps> Did you see that? It, it opened bloomed. up. Did you see it bloom? All right, we're gonna try it one more time with this one. Are you ready? Did you see that? That one opened up again too. Did you see it? Do you see our flowers? Our flowers are all bloomed in our water. 